Shake the Nation's ministries exist to preach the gospel to the lost. We believe in bringing the message of Jesus Christ through both our words and our actions. Because the Bible declares, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. We feel the burden to reach out to the poor and needy with the tangible love of Christ. Through the humanitarian arm of the ministry, Hope of All Nations, we feed the poor and hungry as we share Christ with them. During one of our recent Hope Food Distribution projects, we met a young boy, Joshua, in dire need of medical assistance. Joshua is six years of age and required medical surgery to repair a birth defect that left him extremely vulnerable and at high risk for infection. This condition caused him to eliminate waste through a hole in his abdomen for the past six years. He lived a very isolated life, not attending school or playing with other children due to his condition. Being the hands and feet of Jesus meant that we could not just leave him in this state. We're here in Honduras and it has been an incredible few days. And a lot of you watching have been a part of Joshua's journey and helping him get the surgery that he so desperately needed. And you know, as we went to pick him up from his house and just seeing the living conditions again and realizing that supernaturally, the Lord has sustained this child to six years of age and he's allowed us to go and step into his life to be able to help meet a need. We presented Joshua's story through social media around the world and our hearts were so overwhelmed as God's people responded to this need. Our covenant partners and friends raised over $15,000 for Joshua's surgery. To know that we were able to not only touch a child and change his life, but seeing two parents give their hearts to the Lord because their prayers were answered. Prayers that were made out of desperation for their child to have a surgery that would just be typical in most other countries of the world. And so even the story of how God brought the doctor to us and a doctor that was willing to give up even income to be a part of this story and to help us make this possible for Joshua. My name is Enrique Tomé, I'm a PD surgeon. Um, Josue was born with a, what we call an anorectal malformation. So today we did the surgery of the two stages of the surgery. So right now we just need him to heal up this wound. Hopefully today's a Tuesday, hopefully we'll be Saturday letting him go. Jose, is he hola? It all depends on on how he behaves in the next few days. Great. But I, I'm, I'm feeling optimistical because the surgery went without problems and uh, Josue is a fighter, <laughs> so I think he should do fine. So Rachel, when she was telling me, it's a powerful testimony, she said that today Joshua got up in the morning and he said, Mom, take me a shower, clean me and get me ready because today they're gonna do the final surgery. And as a pastor, I need to be healthy. So today, I know that everything's gonna be over and I'm gonna be healthy. And remember, as a pastor, I need to be healthy so I can preach the word of God. We're here in Honduras and Joshua's just had his second procedure. It was a complete success, and so we're just expecting Joshua to be completely normal, thanks to everyone at home that was able to be a part of this work. If you would like to get involved with Joshua's continuing story by giving to meet his family's needs and giving towards his education, you can do that by reaching out to hopeofallnations.org.